welcome back to my channel, Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel, and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation and leave the rest behind. And as always, guys, thank you so very much for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, all of your subscriptions, everything that you do to help get these messages out into the collective is greatly appreciated. So thank you, guys. And uh, two announcements. We are still operating with our Divinely Guided Gift Raffle. This is the last full week available that tickets will be on sale for. We currently only have four tickets sold, so the odds are pretty good in your favor, right? <laughs> and we also have our new members portal open, our Divinely Guided Angels Lounge, right? Where we'll be offering personal readings and special um, readings for members only, okay? Let's go ahead and call in the Holy Spirit here. Holy Spirit, please come through, help shield, guard, and protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my divinely guided subscribers. Help us with messages designed for their lives at this very moment whenever they're reading this or watching this video. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's take a look and see what we have here. How are you guys liking the incense burner over here, right? We got a little bit of myrrh being um, burned in there. I'm loving it. I love the energy. I love how it seems to work better than sage. I'm going to just throw that one out there. The, the energy clearing has been very, very positive in this house. Very good for protection. So I'm very thankful for you for advising that to me. All right. We have the main mail pop out for us here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have the main female. Okay, okay, divine couple over here. Look at that divine male over here looking at that lady. He's like, I know who she is. She's like, mm, I don't know if I want it anymore. <laughs> That's what these cards are saying. Oh, man. And we have the courthouse. And that's where the, the woman's, this main woman over here is saying, ah, I don't know if I want it anymore. And it's because there's, you're going through a separation. So I'm trying to determine whether you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine in this situation. And I'm seeing both. Okay. So we do have some divine masculines in this group that this message is going to be for. A lot of you are going to be in the Divine Masculine energy, but I do see a lot of Divine Feminines that are going through a type of separation or <laughs> calling in justice through spiritual court. I'm, I'm just going to throw that one out there. Not everybody has authority to call in justice like this, but I'm feeling a little bit like um, you kind of came up to here with your this is all I'm able to take. And somebody tried to push you a little bit more. That's what it feels like. So let's go ahead and dig in here to the tarot. Figure out what's going on here. Divine feminine, divine masculine. What is going on? Someone pushed you to your limits. Let's see. Yeah. She's like this. <laughs> it's like she's saying, you know, I've had a good run. But you're, I'm going to bow out gracefully. Like, that's what you're saying. I'm going to bow out gracefully. I'm going to take what resonated with me with this situation, with this relationship, um, and I'm going to leave now. So Divine Feminines, I feel like you're the one that may have said enough is enough. I'm calling in justice. I'm calling in judgment. I'm calling in this separation. I'm calling in a cord cutting. There we go. There's been a cord cutting. Hmm. What happened? I don't, I don't necessarily see what this main male did. I said, I think that's where I'm going to start with this reading. The lover's card. Oh, the lover's card. Yeah. This is a romantic partner of yours. Um, did something happen, I wonder? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Divine Feminine in this reading is saying, I'm packing up my belongings and I'm leaving. I'm leaving. 
Ooh, you're like, uh-uh, I'm not playing this game anymore. That's what you're telling me. So what did the main male do? What did this masculine do that has this female not wanting to be with them anymore? Holy Spirit. Two of Pentacles. This person juggled you with somebody else? Oh, no, main male. What did you do? Did you cheat on her? Oh, he cheated on you. Okay, so I'm going to just go on a limb here and say that none of our divine masculines in this group or anybody who resides in the divine masculine energy, I don't think this is you at all. I think this is more of a message for our divine feminines here. This individual, your counterpart, or this person that you were involved with, who uh, was juggling you with somebody else, another female entity, another female energy. <gasps> Holy Spirit, reveal a little bit more. Oh, why? Why do men do this? Yeah, it's taking every bit of courage for you, Divine Feminine, to choose yourself and not this relationship. You're choosing yourself for the first time. You know what I mean? Do you know how special that is? To have that courage to cut this off and say no more? Like you've talked to your angels, you've talked to your guides, you've talked to um, your divine ancestors and you're just asking for help. You're talking to God, what do I do? What do I do, God? And you have the chariot here. This is telling me that God delivered you intuition, um, this insight, this future, saying that your joy is right here, child, bathed in sunlight. Just like God is shining his light down on this reading right now, God is shining his light on you and illuminating you and showing the world exactly who you are, Divine Collective. You're beautiful. And maybe you've only just awoken to seeing yourself and respecting yourself and giving yourself that love, that self-love that everybody's been talking about, you know? So they delivered a message and you heard and you ran with it and you said, yes, I want that. So Holy Spirit, come through, tell us a little bit about this. What happened that drove them away? We need to know what the... The reason was, normally I would just run with, okay, you decided to leave them, let's talk about your future path, but I kind of want to know what it was that was the, the straw that broke the camel's back, you know, what was the last straw for you? That way we can make sure that that never happens again, so you never get to that point, so that way you can remember that you're better than that emotion that you felt. Or how that person made you feel. Make sense? And we have the Six of Cups here. Now remember when I told you that it feels like you're taking only what's good out of the relationship and then moving beyond it. So this is telling me that you have a lot of maturity about you, Divine Feminines, in this group. That you understand that it is important to remember that every person in our life was brought into our life for just a season. Sometimes people stay for longer than just a season. But each person that we meet teaches us a lesson. Whether it's a, a bad person or a good person, somebody who treats us good, somebody who sticks in our, remem our memory for a long time, those are the memories that you keep. The people and the energies that help build these core memories inside of you where they say that uh, Maya Angelou, I have actually a Maya Angelou um, piece of decor, page 92 of her book, framed and on my wall. And I'll read it for you right now because they're pointing me out to it. Um, it's the whole page, so I'm just skimming through it. I've learned that even when I have pains, I don't have to be one. I've learned that every day you should reach out and touch someone. People love a warm hug or just a friendly pat on the back. I've learned that I still have a lot to learn. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And I love that entire page 
I bought this, this picture just for this because it reminds me that every action has a consequence and how you choose to handle a situation is exactly how you're going to be treated in return. When you take the high road, when you behave humbly, when you take only what resonates with you in a message and leave the anger and anything else behind because it didn't resonate with you, that's what it's all about. That's what the lesson was all along. How to take only what resonates with you collective because only you can live with yourself. So I see you not wanting to be with this energy anymore. You know what I mean? And I see you only taking the good things, the good moments, the good times. Maybe there was a vacation that you guys took that you had good memories of, or maybe this person taught you how to not be afraid or taught you a lesson in something that was important. You know, if somebody taught me how to drive a stick shift, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I will remember this for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Like it would, it would mean that much to me to learn. So, you know, it, just put this situation however it resonates with you. And if it doesn't, don't force it, okay? <laughs> we have the Page of Cups here. This is you seeking new opportunities, new ventures. You're seeking something different for your life. So this is where the courthouse comes into play. You're seeking something new. You're taking the courage to break free from this love. And you called in for divine judgment to help you with a cord cutting. To help you end this amicably so that way there is no offense like you don't want to hurt this male's feelings this male is already beating himself up from what I understand he's sorry like that's all he's doing is apologizing like ugly crying sobbing like I want you back I'm so sorry what did I do ah! you know and you're like I ain't hearing it You've got your back turned to the situation. You're like, that was the last straw. I won't tolerate that. I deserve better. And if you really were who you say you were to me, then you wouldn't have even thought about it. But I'm getting the feeling that, and he's shaking his head no, like don't say it, and I'm sorry, I have to. And it's better if you come out and talk about it in, to this person as well. Get it off of your chest. The truth will set you free. He just flipped me off. Okay. Um, this is not the first, the person that you caught him with is not the first one that this happened with. There's been quite a few individuals that he was juggling you with that you don't know about. And he doesn't like it. And he just walked out the room, which is fine because I don't need, I, I know all I need to know now about him, but I do need you to know, and I'm going to respect this energy by advising you what is on his heart he is sorry but this is your decision not it's not your job to take somebody back and accept an offer from somebody that you don't feel comfortable with is it your obligation to forgive people so that way people can heal and people can transition absolutely and there's nothing wrong with forgiving this energy and i see that's what's happening in the situation so let's go ahead and switch this up. Let's change decks. Holy Spirit, um, let's pull out the cannabis deck here. What advice do you have for my collective on handling this separation from this individual with grace, with humility, with the divine's um, approval? Yes. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, you do. You have such a... It's okay. It's okay. I think you're worse. I'm just disappointed. It's okay. Like you're very calm about this. Like you, you have no anger for this individual, but you have this deep seated hope that there is still love for me, that you just haven't found it yet. And I believe that that is true. You know it inside of your heart, you know, and you're separating yourself from what no longer resonates so you can free yourself for that opportunity to come through. I bet you any money this is all happening because your true counterpart is triggering you to come forward. Like he's starting to make motions towards you 
and the universe is responding to that and helping make make light and give you visions and, and, and get you ready to separate from this individual so you'll be free and available when you do have this chance encounter. And they're saying chance encounter. So, you know, I would just go with the flow with whatever the divine is saying, whatever God places on your heart, it's the correct answer, okay? Because you know what God's voice sounds like in you. You know when the Holy Spirit is talking to you. Um, this is a light worker channel. I know there's many of you, especially with the last couple of readings. I know how powerful y'all are. So I know that you understand what I'm talking about when I say that you have an ability to see without feeling. Like you have an ability to detach your emotions and detach your ego from a specific situation that you're facing. And look with God's eyeglasses. What would Jesus do? WWJD. Why do we not see those bracelets on anybody anymore? You know what I mean? Like, it, it just reminds me of that. Like, what would Jesus do? Like, that's the attitude that you walk in. That Christ consciousness. Like, I want to behave as nobly as possible. You know? Holy Spirit. Tell us a little bit more for my Divine Feminine in this group. What advice? Oh, Food meditation. And on the bottom of the card, it's an affirmation that says, I can. Maybe this individual put you on a diet or restricted your food in some way because you wanted to look better for this individual. So maybe this person would pay more attention to you. Oh, maybe if I just lose a little bit of weight, maybe he'll find me more attractive and he'll want to sleep with me again. And you know, as you're jumping through all of these hoofs, these hoofs, these hoops, and you're jumping from one foot to the next, he's over there jumping from one bed to another, to another, to another, and then coming home to you and taking advantage of a clean home, hot food on his plate, and an adoring woman who only wants to spend time with him. And all he wants to do is get away from her because he's too tired from all of his bed play. And he just wants to relax and sit down. He worked too hard for other people. I do not blame you for, for leaving. So guess what, honey? You don't have to lose weight for anybody to find you attractive anymore. You go ahead and start eating again. And this is a wonderful time to start adopting maybe some healthier eating habits. Eat foods that make you feel good. Like maybe this person made fun of you for eating salads and you were always stuck eating cardboard pizza or something like that. Like that's what I feel like. We can't have vegetables because he doesn't like eating vegetables because he's a toddler in a man's body who only eats macaroni and cheese and scrambled eggs. Well done. Dry toast. You know what I mean? Like, I can't have seasonings because I'm a toddler. Ketchup is spicy, you know? Like, this guy was just controlling. Very, very controlling. Like, that refrigerator had only food that he liked. Only had beverages that he liked. And I'll leave it at beverages because I don't really want to assume that this individual drank a lot. Because I don't know for sure. He seems like a beer guy, but I'm not inviting him back in here to ask him. But I get the impression that you, collective, controlled your food and controlled your own eating to please somebody else. You kind of just always went with the flow. So Spirit says, start eating from that diet that you want. Hey, if you want to go ahead and buy like one of those, those meal plans where they send you the meals and you get to cook fresh at your house and you were just super, super excited about that and he wouldn't let you because why wouldn't you just go to the grocery store and just buy the stuff yourself? Well, because you want to have fun. You want to take all of the work out of it and just do the cooking with your family, with yourself, enjoying learning how to do something new. It's about the experience that you have. And I think that's what people don't understand about those meal plans that come where you cook farm to table. It's, it helps bring families together. It helps 
create something new, a new way of eating, thinking about food a little bit differently, what we put into our bodies. So I, mean, I feel like you really want to try something like that. And what a, what a resolution to put yourself into. Conjuring in the legacy card. You are legendary. Yes, you are. You're working on your legacy. And that legacy starts with your happiness collective. Oh, this is a sign to me that says you made the right choice by stepping away from this individual. Even if you thought, oh, maybe I didn't do it the right way. Maybe I didn't separate the right way. And they're saying, no, you did. You separated exactly the way that you were supposed to. But I know your heart is hurting collective. And you know how I know? Because you cared enough to try to fix this when it was beyond fixing. You want nothing but the best for this person. That's why you split so peacefully. Now, I am not going to go into what this is going to mean for this other person. I think you've been in the tarot community long enough. And even if you're a human being who knows that cheaters never prosper, you're going to understand what's coming for this individual. Judgment's been called. You don't rip the wings off of one of my angels. Mm -mm. You don't touch my baby. You don't touch my light worker. You don't touch my star seeds. You don't touch the individuals who are working for source, for God, for a higher power to improve humanity and lead us all into the next age of man. You know, we're making ways for people to move into the next phase of, of humanity. That's how important we are. And you collective understand that too. You have a legacy to build. And that individual that was cheating on you, unfortunately, is not invited to the party. He does not have a seat at the table. You know, he needs to make, he needs to clean off his shoes before he comes in. In fact, sir, we have removed you from the house. So we're just going to put you on the shelf over here and put you upside down. I don't like that energy. Cheating. They had you collective. They had you you should have been good enough. You should have been everything. And it wasn't enough for this individual. He wanted more. Let him find more. And he'll realize that the grass was only greener because it was fake. Roll out that AstroTurf, right? Ooh. Holy Spirit, give us a little bit more. I love this advice that you're giving my collective that you're giving this beautiful energy on the table because I see joy and happiness. Like, I, like, look at this food meditation card. You are jumping in joy in a pile of fresh, good, tasty foods. Somebody said, I wish it was like ding-dongs and ho-hos and Twinkies. <laughs> Did somebody stop you from eating sugar? Is that what that is? Is that why you're so happy? <laughs> I'm going to see Twinkies and Ding Dongs and Ho-Hos and cupcakes falling from the sky instead of the fruits and vegetables from now on. You guys crack me up. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, holy spirit. Give me another one, please. Ah. Oh, yeah. There's balance in your life. They're calling in balance. And the tolerance card also came out. You could be a strong water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but with this balance card coming out, this is telling me that you've adopted some kind of routine where you're learning to ground yourself in a new way. You're learning how to transmute your own emotions. You're learning to transmute your own energy. You're learning to... I heard that you're learning to, to see the glass half full. Yeah, you're learning to see the glass half full, they're saying. Maybe once upon a time, this individual made you adopt a more negative kind of 
like maybe his negative words and his negative speech, you just kind of adopted it because you wanted to have something in common with him. So you wanted to laugh with him and you were trying to be polite. That's what I see. So I don't feel like you meant anything that you laughed at or anything like that. I see you just changing your personality to try to make this person happy. But now you're learning to balance that out. You're not in a situation where the world is turned upside down and quite opposite. You took all of the obstacles in your life and you set them up in such a way that it just makes sense. It's the words that they're showing me is organized chaos. Total balance, yin and yang. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Balancing out your life, loving yourself first. So we'll get that, out the, get that out of the shot there. We'll just keep the water on the table. <laughs> Holy Spirit, give us a little bit more. Give us a little bit more. We're not willing to tolerate any more negativity, any more cheating. You're not willing to tolerate anything that is not of your highest good anymore. So you have a strong boundary, a strong queen of swords kind of energy where you don't judge, but you also don't allow people to cross a boundary with you. What is this card? These nails. Oh, gratitude rampage. It's already happened. That card says you could be listening to a lot of music right now to helping you with transmuting a lot of the energy that you're coming free of. Maybe you're adopting something like yoga or meditation in some way, shape, or form, or with a hobby. Um, some of you could be growing herbs. I have a bunch of herbs hanging above my chandelier right now, drying as we speak, and all of this rosemary is just kind of like wafting down and smell, and it's, it's very refreshing. It's very beautiful, and... Um, I like meditating around good smelling crisp herbs, you know, it, it helps me. So maybe your form of meditation might be a little bit different. Maybe you actually listen to music as form of meditation, you know, where you can drift off and zone out really easy whenever you have your headphones in. So that's what this is. And this during this meditation time, you're showing extreme gratitude. Oh, God, thank you so very much for getting me out of that situation, for waking me up, for seeing everything the way that it was instead of how I wanted it to be seen. You know what I mean? That's beautiful. That's... That's a form of accountability, holding yourself accountable and saying, you know, God, I can't do it without you. I can't do any of this without you. So thank you for caring enough about my comfort to pull me out of a situation that I was blind to. You know what I mean? So pat yourself on the back. You didn't do anything wrong. I know this hurts and you feel bad for the other individual too, but you also feel free for the first time. You know, you're liberated. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. That meditation, that's that silent retreat. You see how she's wearing headphones there? Oh, yeah. You're definitely listening to music. And it's also a way for you to signal the rest of the world, I am not willing to talk to you. So you see those corded headphones? I have a pair of corded headphones, and then like every other pair is wireless because of the hair, you know, and the hair and the earrings. I don't like getting tangled up. I don't like being attached. But if I want to be left alone and I don't want somebody to talk, I have a pair of white earbuds that are corded. So it's very obvious I'm wearing headphones. And I feel like that may be part of your personality right now. Like that, leave me alone. Unless I know you, unless I trust you, just leave me alone. I'm healing. I'm in a hermit mode by myself. Silent retreat. You don't go to parties. You don't hang out. You don't go do anything because you are tired. You're recouping. You're licking your wounds after years of being unhappy. So spirit says it's time to pay attention. Now you're in this world, the sea 
all alone. You know, you're back into the open market, right? And there's plenty of fish in the sea and they're all going to be curious about you because your light is shining so bright. So as you start to get your glow up again, when you start becoming happy again and you're already there because you're already free and that karma starts to play out in the other party over there and you start claiming back all of your energy and all of those blessings are going to start rolling in. It's going to put a light around you that is going to be a beacon for the sharks, like dropping blood into the water. You, you, prey is going to come. So you just have to pay attention. This is the closing advice that Spirit has for you. Now that you've been separated, there's going to be a lot of sharks, a.k.a. potential suitors, coming in saying, Oh, baby, you're gorgeous. Oh, you're hot. Oh, I like your pic. And you're like, oh, that's nice, the flattering stuff. And then you're like, ooh, this is getting kind of creepy. Like, the guy's out here, there, and I get it, you know. Um, I don't like being hit on just based off of my profile picture. That's why I don't put my profile picture on there. I, I keep it with the living things, the plants, you know, because I try to keep it all themed for you. But I don't know. I just, I feel like you're going to have this glow about you that's going to be a beacon to everybody like your your blessings are going to include like an upgrade to your spiritual gifts and that telepathy and that empath like your gifts that you have right now are going to become even stronger because you've conquered a level in your life you're no longer settling for anything than what you want. And you're manifesting it into your life right now as we speak. So let's go ahead and pull out some divinely led scriptures for you. We're gonna put a feather out for you as well. Let's get our prettiest one. You're a pretty energy. We need our prettiest one. You like that? There, that one's for you. All right, Holy Spirit, please come through. Give me the best closing messages um, for my collective who resides in this energy right now. Help me with messages that build confidence, that encourage, that heal while they're in this hermit mode. Um, and then bring to them any support or any earth angels that um, you lead them to, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Ooh. Yeah. They say we're sending aid. We're sending aid. The call has been heard, and they're blowing trumpets and horns. Like, they're showing me a, um, a fire station, like a busy New York fire station. And everybody's cooking in the kitchen, and everybody's having a good time, and then all of a sudden the fire whistles go off, everybody drops what they're doing, and then they start rushing down the pole. It's like... God's top angels have been on call waiting for you to be out on your own so that way they can line you up with blessings and protection. It's a gorgeous energy. I really, really like it. So Holy Spirit, please come through as I've requested. They just threw three up. Did you see that? Boom, boom, boom. So we're going to read them in that order too. I like that. I like that. Okay, so the first one that came out was this one. Let's see which it is. A happy heart is good medicine and a cheerful mind works healing, but a broken spirit dries up bones. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. If you would have stayed in that relationship collective, your bones would have dried up. The spirit would have left you. You would have been aged prematurely. Your energy would have been zapped. It wouldn't have been good for the other person that you were in the relationship with either. Because they would have been forced to continue behaving karmically. And further hurt themselves. So you being able to have that happy, humble heart on you. Without offense, without retaliation. Is exactly 
what God said is what saved you. This is what called in your judgment. You know, this is what allowed you to, to liberate yourself, to free yourself. It was all part of the plan. God already knew that this individual was going to do this to you. But he also knew what you would learn through it. And that's why he allowed it to happen. So if you are that person that is asking, why did this happen? It's because God has something he needs you to experience in that moment. A lesson that he wanted you to learn. So that way you can handle the future trials that have something similar in mind. And then this knowledge will protect you from being deceived by that bigger monster down the road. You know what I mean? This is all part of God's plan. What one person does for our harm, God will flip it and turn it into our good. This is how divine protection works. Yay! <laughs> Don't you love playing for the right team, you know? Oh, because Christ lives in me, my body is dead by reason of sin and guilt. The spirit is alive because of the righteousness that he inputs into me. Romans chapter 8, verse 10. God put this spirit and this hunger in you. He put the Holy Spirit in you because you invited him in. God lives in you because you invited him. You've become righteous in his eyes. Your faith is beautiful to God. And your faith is what's going to be the testimony through this all. That you believed that you were worth more. And God's going to deliver you more. Manifestation 101. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh, guys, I love it. This is such a good message after all. Um, I love it when we end on positive notes, you guys. Leaving your past behind. Put them on the shelf, okay? Breathe. <laughs> I do not want to become lazy, but I want to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12. This is telling me that that message God delivered you earlier about how this individual would become lazy whenever they were around you because they had spent all their energy on other people, remember? You don't want to imitate that laziness. So you said, I'm done pretending to think that everything you say is funny. I am done pretending like everything's okay when it's not. I am done pretending that I don't smell another woman on you and that I don't know already what's happening. I'm not putting my intuition on the shelf any longer. Sorry, sir, you can go on the shelf. You know, it's time for me to put myself first. And that's what you're doing. You do not want to become lazy. You want to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit have what's been promised. So when you see somebody that you admire and there is somebody that you are resonating with right now that has been a role model to you, somebody that you look up to that you're like, I want that life. I want that life. Order up. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's that, it's that kind of feeling. Like you found yourself. You finally found yourself. And you're starting off with nothing but the clothes on your back, basically. You came into this world through blood and pain with nothing, naked before God. And that's how you'll leave this world. So why not start over now? Start over again with nothing. And then build it up all over again. The beautiful thing about our God is that you can start over, over and over and over again. Because we're not perfect. None of us are, right? Guys, I could sit here forever and just boost you up and talk yet. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it, clear this energy and do it again in another video. Okay. <laughs> so I love you guys. If you haven't already, 
hit that like and subscribe button. If you like this vibe, come and join our tribe. This is a light worker channel and we are most welcome to your energy and we welcome you home. So thank you guys so much again for everything you're doing in the world. Take care of yourselves. God bless you all.